it's David from Freedom Founders. I want to talk to you today about where the real money is in any business. Here's the point. The money is always, the real money, the majority of the money is always in the follow-up. Let me say it again. The money is in the follow-up. What do I mean by that? I was at a meeting today where I spoke and I was having a conversation with one of the attendees who is a person who raises capital. That's what they do for their business. They raise capital to put into investments. And he was talking about the fact that he did a presentation this last week to a group of people that had, were conservative and had quite a bit of money. And he did this presentation and he felt like there was good energy in the room and good potential for doing business. I said, I said, well, how many people came up and like, asked for your card or said to do business? He said, well, a couple of people did. And I said, great, what are you gonna do with that? He said, well, I'm gonna get them on the phone. I said, perfect. I said, did you get the contact information for the other people that were there? The other majority who didn't necessarily come up and take a card. They weren't aggressive. In other words, the rest of the people in that group, the majority of the people in that group, even though they were interested in the topic, they weren't ready to like write a check. They weren't ready to buy or invest today. Now think about your own business. It's the same way. You're out there marketing. You've got a brand. You have a signage. You have marketing on the internet. You do Facebook. You might do direct mail. You may do a lot of things, right, for lead generation to get prospects to raise their hand so hopefully they can become customers or patients. But the vast majority are not ready to do business today. They're interested. They maybe like what you have, but today's not the day. They don't have an urgent need. So what happens to those people? That's the majority of people that don't have an urgent need. See, we typically in business only deal with the people who raise their hand and say, I'm ready today. I've got a need. I've got an urgent need. Uh, time is urgent. Either I've got, uh, I've got something pressing right now, something that's painful, or I need to get something taken care of. It's urgent. And those are the people we typically rely on to fill our schedule and therefore transact business and make our profit, right? But that's a small, small minority. The rest of the people who heard your message, who are listening to your message, but aren't ready to buy today or become a customer today, what happens to those people? Well, for the most part, nothing. Nobody does anything with those people. So they have to like remember you so that when they are ready to buy the service or product that you have, they've got to remember you. They've got to think back uh, months ago, six weeks ago, a year ago, and many times they're not going to remember you because, sorry, we're just not always that memorable. Even though at the time that they were listening to you, saw your message, maybe heard you do a presentation like was happening to my friend, they liked it, they just weren't ready to buy. The money is really in the follow-up. The real money is in the follow-up, which means... You need to get contact information anytime you are marketing, putting a message out, whether it's online, direct mail, or you're speaking in person to somebody, you've got to have a way to get contact information. I'm not going to go on down that rabbit hole right now. There's ways to do that ethically and without putting pressure on people. you got to give them a free gift, basically. you got to give them a report. Give them something, a book, something that, that that will further the conversation. It's all we're trying to do, further the conversation. Touch points, sending people things in the mail. Yes, you can do email, but in the mail additional articles or additional books or things of interest around the topic, not directly trying to sell them on what you've got that day, but keeping yourself in front of them. Top of mind awareness, TOMA is what it's called. That's the key. It typically takes seven touches to get the majority of people who aren't ready to buy today ready to buy so that you hit them in the right time. They're, you, you've been giving them messages and when they have that need, they think about your product or service, bam, it's easy. They can find you. You've been in front of them in a, in a very low level way, but regular way, consistent way that builds trust and authority. That's the key. If you're struggling today right now and you're doing everything you can with marketing and branding, you just can't quite keep enough transactions going, remember, the majority of your business is in the follow-up. If you're not doing the follow-up, you're missing the boat. That's my tip for today. Remember, always stay focused on your freedom. I'll see you next time.